This is Dallas, Texas. Serving a population of 6.7 million people, a network of light rail and commuter rail lines connects this U.S. city, servicing 84 stations across four counties. Consisting of seven rail lines and 175 miles of track, the system travels across the region, with trains connecting various corners of Dallas and Fort Worth. But how did the system grow from its original stations to the network it is today? My name's Zach, and this is the evolution of the network. The initial sections of Dallas's light rail network opened in June 1996, with two lines radiating southwest from downtown. Starting from a station at Pearl, the lines traveled on a dedicated transitway through downtown to West End, before heading south to 8th and Corinth. From there, the two lines split, with the red line traveling four stops west to Westmoreland, and the blue line traveling two stops south to Illinois. Six months later in December, commuter rail service began out of Union Station, with trains on the Trinity Railway Express serving two stations to South Irving. Red Line service was extended north from downtown in January 1997, with three additional stations taking the line to Park Lane. Between Pearl and Mockingbird, the line ran through an underground tunnel parallel to the North Central Expressway, the only underground section on the system. Five months later in May, a three-station extension opened at the opposite end of the Blue Line, with trains now ending at Leadbetter. Blue Line trains were extended through the tunnel in September 1999, with trains now ending at Mockingbird. One year later in September 2000, commuter rail service on the Trinity Railway Express was extended towards Fort Worth, adding three more stations to Richland Hills. An infill station opened on the stretch two months later, with trains also stopping at West Irving. In the light rail tunnel, an infill station was added at City Place in December, serving trains on both the red and blue lines. Underground platforms are also partially constructed at the neighboring Knox Henderson station. However, due to community opposition, they were never connected to the surface and sit abandoned to this day. The blue line was extended one stop north in September 2001, branching off east from Mockingbird to service White Rock Station. Four months later in December, Trinity Railway Express service was extended into downtown Fort Worth, adding stations at the Fort Worth Intermodal Transportation Center and the Fort Worth, Texas and Pacific Station. On the Blue Line, service was expanded east to an additional stop in May 2002, with trains now ending at LBJ Skillman. Two months later in July, Red Line trains were extended outside the city limits for the first time, with six more stations opening north of Park Lane to Gallatin Park. Blue Line service continued to expand east in November of that year, adding two new stations at Forest Jupiter and downtown Garland. Finally, in December, Red Line trains were extended north once again, adding three more stations to the present terminus at Parker Road. Regular service on the Trinity Railway Express began stopping at the new Victory Station in October 2003, serving the adjacent American Airlines Center. While a temporary platform had opened in July 2001, the site was initially only serviced during special events, with a permanent platform being constructed in advance of regular service. Special event trains on the red and blue lines were also extended to Victory starting in November 2004, bringing passengers to events in the area. Full service to Victory on the light rail network began five years later in September 2009, with the launch of the Green Line. Running from Victory Station along the downtown transitway to Pearl, the line then branched off south to Martin Luther King Jr. Station, serving three stations along the way. An infill station opened on the eastern branch of the Blue Line in December 2010, with trains now servicing Lake Highland Station. At the same time, two extensions opened on the Green Line, adding 15 stations at both ends of the route. At the south end, a four-stop extension brought trains to Buckner, while at the north end, an 11 station extension brought service to the present terminus at North Carrollton, Frankfurt. A fourth light rail line also launched at this time, running peak only service between Bachman on the Green Line and Parker Road on the Red Line. A second commuter rail line launched six months later in June 2011, connecting the newly opened Green Line to the nearby city of Denton. Starting from Trinity Mill Station, the line serviced five newly constructed stops to downtown Denton 
with trains running regularly six days per week. One year later, in July 2012, South Irving Station on the Trinity Railway Express was renamed, now being known as Downtown Irving Heritage Crossing. Various stations on the light rail network were also renamed at this time, with the blue, orange, and red line station at City Place becoming City Place Uptown, and the adjacent station at Pearl becoming Pearl Arts District. Service on the Orange Line was also expanded to run seven days per week between LBJ Central and Backman, and extended three stops west to the Irving Convention Center. Five months later in December, a one-stop extension of the Blue Line opened, bringing trains east to downtown Rowlett. At the same time, an additional two stations were added to the Orange Line, with trains traveling west to Belt Line. The Trinity Railway Express Station at Hearst Bell was also renamed, with Hearst being dropped. Two years later, in August 2014, a final extension of the Orange Line was opened, bringing rapid transit service to the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport's Terminal A. Bush Turnpike Station on the Red and Orange Lines was renamed two years later in March 2016, now being known as City Line Bush. In October 2016, Dallas's Union Station was also renamed after Eddie Bernice Johnson, changing the station name for the Red, Blue, and Trinity Railway Express stop. Later that month, a two-stop southward extension of the Blue Line opened, bringing trains to their present end station at the University of North Texas's Dallas campus. Dallas's third commuter rail line launched two years later in January 2019, connecting Fort Worth to the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. Starting from the Fort Worth TNP station, the Texrail line followed the Trinity Railway Express to the Fort Worth ITC, before branching off to service seven new stations to Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. At the airport, Texrail serviced a platform at Terminal B, connecting to the light rail platform at Terminal A via a covered pedestrian walkway. Two months later, in March, Fort Worth Intermodal Transportation Center on Texrail and the Trinity Railway Express was renamed, now being known as Fort Worth Central Station. Later that year in August, the blue, orange, and red line station at Mockingbird was also renamed, recognizing the presence of the nearby Southern Methodist University. Finally, in April 2021, an infill station opened on the western leg of the Orange Line, with trains now stopping at Hidden Valley. This brings us to the Dallas Light Rail and Commuter Rail map that we know today. In the years to come, various expansions are planned for the Dallas Light Rail and Commuter Rail networks which will see new lines and stations open across the region. In late 2024, an infill station will open near the north end of the orange and red lines, with trains now stopping at 12th Street. At the same time, a new commuter rail line will launch, connecting the new light rail station to the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. Starting from Shiloh Road, the line runs west to Terminal B at the airport, servicing four newly constructed stations. The line will also interchange with various existing stations, including 12th Street and City Line Bush on the Orange and Red Line, Downtown Carrollton on the Green Line, and Dallas-Fort Worth Airport North on Texrail. That was the evolution of Dallas's light rail and commuter rail network, giving us the seven lines that we know today. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our evolution of the network videos on other American cities which you can access by clicking the button in the top right corner. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and comment down below to join in the discussion. My name's Zach, and I'll be Vanishing Underground, until the next one.